So what up, YouTube? You know who it is. If you don't, it's your boy Shake. I'm gonna dive right into this. I don't wanna waste any time. First thing on the to-do list for NBA 2K13. In my opinion, NBA 2K12's passing was some of the worst passing in NBA 2K history. Some of these animations are absolutely horrible. horrible. They don't make any sense. It's almost like you guys didn't just drop the ball, but you guys fumbled it in the end zone and allowed the other team to score. This is absolutely ridiculous. The, the passing in NBA 2K12 is horrendous. So first thing on my list for the developers is to fix the passing. Notice how he turns around awkwardly. He actually does a turnaround in the opposite direction to receive this pass. And the result is Amari Stoudemire getting blocked or losing the ball. And just a horrible, horrible offensive play. It's another case. And a lot of this footage is going to come from my player because it's the most played mode in NBA 2K12. This video is going right to the dev team. I know that you guys are working on NBA 2K13. But I have a small series of to-do lists. It's, it's, it's my little to-do list. Basically what the fans, what a lot of people want to see. The subscribers on my channel are some of the most intelligent viewers on YouTube. If you read the comments, you're going to see a slew of problems. Things that they're mentioning. I'm not saying that they can't go to the 2K forums to write those things. But I want to give you guys footage, actual proof of what I'm talking about. There's a little bonus footage for you guys. I hadn't seen this mistake since NBA 2K10. Here you have Chandler Parsons with a torso. His, basically his arms, his upper torso is all black. And it's not even, you know, like African American black. It's like solid charcoal black. You know, this mistake exists throughout this game. I've seen it in several different players. What if Chandler Par Parsons wanted to play this game? You think he would take, in take kindly to seeing himself looking like this? Try to explain it to you that there are more people with this problem. <laughs> I mean, come on, son. I mean, I, I can promise you that if Rick Alderman saw this right now, <laughs> he'd be questionable. Like, come on, guys. These are things that are in the game. I have a whole lot more videos to come. First part of a series where I, I'm basically trying to reach out to the dev team and, and give you guys a heads up on some things that we don't want to see appear in NBA 2K13. Can anybody else see the other odd bod on that bench? <laughs> Look closely. It's not just Chandler Parsons. This is part anymore. two of the NBA 2K13 to-do list. Defended by Paul. I'm going to show you guys a few things. This video is all about speed and AI transition defense. What I want you guys to pay attention to here is John Wall. One thing that he doesn't do is try to make a play on the ball like a realistic NBA basketball player would do. Instead, he runs to the center of the baseline and only decides to make a play on the ball when I go for the jump shot. You're going to see the same thing happen again. And this is just bad defense. Bad defense. You know, NBA 2K, you guys excel in certain areas and then you drop the ball in others. I'm sort of wondering why the ball doesn't bounce off of his foot. Seems like that animation only happens when you go for your speed burst run. Pay close attention. Did anybody see that rejection coming? I put a nice crossover with the ISO motion controls on John Wall. I'm beating the defense. Clear shot to the basket. And just look how Jan Vesely comes out of nowhere. Let's go ahead and analyze how far away he really was in this play. Look at different angles here. His back is to the, to the basket. He doesn't have the proper position to get to this play. But if you pay attention to 
Chris Paul. The layup animation is so slow. Drags him off to the side. Jan Vesely takes one step and is able to recover on defense. Look at it from this angle. It's important to me because you don't get too many opportunities to blow past your defender in this game. He just slides into position to block the shot. Here's a case where I'm using Chris Paul again, and I can't even beat Pal Gasol down the court. He's able to get down in time to make a play on the ball. What you guys need to know is that there are several animations when you're using Turbo, and I was actually using Turbo here. He's able to front me, make a play on the ball, and cause me to miss the shot. Here's another case where the defense of Derrick Brown, his AI transition defense is horrible. He runs all the way to the center of the, of the baseline. And this is why you guys get a lot of your, your alley-oops tipped and blocked. And it's because it's written in the code somewhere for these guys to run under the basket instead of making a play to stop the ball on defense. And real life players stop the ball first. And then you can have an open alley-oop. So this is just bad transition defense. I can't understand why the ball is tangible to the defense sometimes. And then other times it just isn't. Here I am, Robin Ramon Sessions with Chris Paul. Look at the distance. Some of you guys are, won't be able to believe that Ramon Sessions is going to make a play on this ball. <laughs> when you slow it down, you can see that he shifts into position with his back to me. They slide him into place. Again, look at the distance. In real life, he's like touching the floor here. He's way out of the play. I'm a good 10 feet ahead of this guy, it feels like, and yet they slide him into position, just warping his body in front of me. This is bad basketball. Again, 2K Sports, you guys excel in a lot of places. You take a step back in others. Here's my my player blocking the shot, setting up what looks like a legitimate fast break. You guys won't believe who makes the play on this one. Look at the distance that I have on the defense. Pay close attention. This play is going to get broken up. And look at that animation. Jeremy Lin takes a step to the side on a layup. And then Teague comes in and blocks his layup. Impossible in real life. In short, speed is an absolute non-factor non -factor. in NBA 2K12. NBA 2K13 cannot have this mistake. The artificial intelligence, the AI of NBA 2K12 in one word. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Things like this take place all the time, and if you play a lot of 5-on-5, five five, you might not notice it. Let's go ahead and show some my player examples. This way you can see how your teammates off ball make a lot of mistakes. Amari Stoudemire has a wide open opportunity to score. Noah even takes a step back. And he still doesn't take advantage of that opportunity. Here's an example of him getting... He's probably raging at this point, Amari Stoudemire. Just doesn't know what to do the AI is just all over the place there's more than enough time on the shot clock for him to take a quality shot he goes out to the three-point line it takes a fade away there's so many examples I don't have enough time to put them all into a video I don't want to seem like I'm complaining forever but this is just ridiculous, ridiculous. NBA 2k 13 your rival is not NBA Live 13. Your rival is Madden 13. And guess what? EA Sports' Madden Football comes out before your game. So if you don't get your AI right, you don't have to worry about your basketball competition. The football games are going to blow you right out of the water. This example right here is not necessarily 
an AI issue as much as it is an, a speed issue. But the fact that he has to take that dribble. Plays like this get broken up. And, you, know, you just can't take it anymore. These are the type of things that make me rage when I play this game. Take a look at this one. I come down. I'm going to set a nice screen for Landry Fields. Watch what he does. See, at this point, you're probably guessing. He does a spin move. Back into double coverage. Couldn't believe it when I saw this happen. These are AI issues that take place during the playoffs. Hall of Fame difficulty, superstar difficulty. You don't believe me? Read the comments. comments. See what my subscribers are writing, the type of things that they're saying that happens in this game. This right here, this was a moment in time where I just put the control down, stepped away from the chair, and went outside to play some real basketball. Because it's obvious that this game, <laughs> NBA 2K12 did not want to duplicate that. So dev team, you guys that are working on the AI, the artificial intelligence for NBA 2K13, please respect the AI this year. This guy passes the ball to me while I'm standing out of bounds. I didn't even call for it. If it's not the speed and it's not the ridiculous passing that goes on in this game, please adjust the AI. It's your boy Shake. I'll holler at you dudes later.